Welcome back to everyone's favorite strategy show. I'm your host, Jessica Chobot, and today we'll be taking you through some must-have info for Halo Wars, so pay attention. Whether you're playing single or multiplayer, one of the greatest tools for success is to build multiple bases. You can take over a capture point and build another base at that location. This new base can consist solely of warehouses and reactors, which will give you more resources to produce and upgrade units faster. Also, you can set a global rally point by clicking in the left stick. Once set, all units produced will move to that point the second that they roll out of the factory. This is a great way to organize your troops for an offensive assault. When playing in multiplayer, have one of your friends focus on leveling up one specific unit like the ODST. Remember, you're working together as a team. You can focus on resources and infantry, leaving your friend to specialize in the uber weaponry. You can also trade resources. So, if your comrade is coming up short, kick him over some scratch to make up the difference. If you're looking for more of a challenge, make it a priority to achieve all of the secondary objectives in the single player campaign. Once complete, these objectives will yield skulls that will pop up on your minimap. They won't stay up forever, so take special care to note their locations when they appear. You can activate these coveted objects to enhance the single player campaign in a number of different ways. Anything from having your units train 50% faster than normal, to having all non-player units do 50% more damage. These skulls can change the dynamic of the game significantly. Or if it's kicks you're looking for, turn on the skull that makes grunts explode into confetti. It turns every confrontation into a celebration. For more tips, tricks, and cheats, log on to IGN.com.